<laughs> Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to episode 3 of my Inferno Mines developer commentary. Okay, on this episode we're going to get the orange wool out of lower mines. So I'm going to pop open the seal here and press onwards. And let's go this way. And throw down a little bit of lighting here, just in case there's spawns. Um, I'm going to start by going this way. This is an, an optional route that actually takes you to the Everforge. And a lot of people actually end up going this way, and they come into the lower mines from beneath Everforge. And it's kind of neat. I just liked how it uh, looped around. But we're going to go the normal route. This is the actual main entrance to lower mines. This area, I revisited and added more decoration to. Uh, these stone columns didn't used to be here, and the rail line here didn't used to be here. And I just added some more decorative stuff. Uh, overall, it's mostly similar to how it used to be in beta. Uh... This is probably the biggest addition, is this rail line here. So let's come down here and just, I'll head into the, uh, this area. Let's see what's in here. We've got some rail carts with TNT, which I will collect. These might be helpful. And I'll take some more of the TNT carts. And that's it for now. I think I hear a zombie. Is there a zombie waiting to ambush me here? Yeah, there is one. Um, oh, I hear a train coming in. There goes the <laughs> It's so goofy looking. Oh, uh, maybe one of my favorite additions to the map. Um, I'm using a uh, chipped flame venom thing just to use it up. Uh, that's, a, that's a skeleton writing a skeleton writing a skeleton writing a minecart chest. What's up, guys? Hey. There we go. Um, right, so we are going to do a little train heist, like out of the old western movies. Uh, but we have to prepare the area. Let me just see if I have any uh, rail supplies in here. We're going to need rail. We're going to need this. You're going to need powered rail for what I have in mind. And that should be it for now. Nope, nope. Uh, I need this in here. And we're going to need... I don't think we'll need too many blocks. Okay, let's see here. What I want to do is... We'll start off... We'll start the episode off with the train heist. Well, first I got to... Before I do the train heist, we have to secure the area and just kind of discourage stuff from coming and bothering us while we work. And there's some creepers behind me. And a skeleton too. And I'm going to take out the creepers. Hey, stop. Stop trying to flank me. Boop. And you should probably burn to death if I had to guess. Yeah, you did. I heard it. Uh, so let's put some light around here, because I don't want any natural spawns to wander over and bother me while I'm working on this. Okay, just light that up. Uh, and this sword doesn't actually have knockback on it. And boop, 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 boop. It does have sharpness, though. Sharpness does help a lot. Uh, and actually, I think it makes this better than an iron sword, for sure. Uh, this actually might be similar in performance to an unenchanted diamond sword. Uh, I'm not actually sure there. Uh, but okay, that's good enough for now. Uh, that should secure most of this because uh, i want i'm actually going to make a farm here i'm going to farm these trains that come by and the way i'm going to do that is with some drops that actually come out of the trains themselves oh hi look at you you are fancy it's like you're going to a dance or something the monsters dance do you think the monsters dance if i'm not around Boop. skadoosh oh oh god oh god you boys oh, oh fire bad yeah you set me on fire because you were on fire and of course you didn't drop actually drop anything because the, the vanilla drop rate, and there's that word vanilla again, is pretty low. It's 5%, if I recall correctly. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we need to <clears throat> get some building material. And I need to just come up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the carts fall down, for starters. And maybe, like, over here would be fine. Uh, and I'm just going to knock out the rail here. and they'll, So they'll fall down and get stuck. Yeah, they'll go right down there. Let me, let me make sure that it's still powered over there. Uh, it is, right? Right, it is. Okay. So now I can... Oh, there's one without uh, skeletons on it. It's odd. The, the, the carts here are slightly unpredictable. When I, I did test them, I sat around here for a long time when I first made this area and just watched the carts to make sure like, they didn't get stuck. Uh, apparently, when you're dealing with minecarts over long distances, it's they can get stuck if you stand... Like, if your character is too far away. Like, if you unload the chunks, I think the carts lose momentum. And they stop on the tracks, and then the next one runs into... Oh, boy. Oh, that's a party coming. Uh, I need to get away. I need to get away. The, their bows are... Oh, look at that. Look at that bounty I have right there. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, they have a lot of... Um, let me get some fire burning on each one of them. Like that. There we go. Get those dots ticking away. Ow, ow. Oh, God. Range. I do really like... Actually, li I, really, I like the new skeleton range. Uh, their increased shooting speed as you get closer. I could take it or leave it. Um... Well, I didn't expect this many carts this quickly. So let's see what our bounty is. Uh, stone pickaxes, anvils, redstone, unbreaking books, basically some convenience books. Uh, nothing is very powerful in here. It's just, you know, uh, to reduce your grind a little bit. 
Uh, and Feather Falling is handed out like candy in here, so nothing in here is really that too good. Uh, the Poison Bombs. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh. Oh, oh, God. Oh, pin cushioned. Oh, I'm pin cushioned. Dang. Okay. Well, I have plenty of, uh, you know, I, I think in hindsight, maybe I should go back up there and block the track and have them come back, because this is going to be a lot of skeletons. A lot of skeletons piling up here. Oh, no, one's loose. He's loose. Oh, great. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a heist if I didn't have a shootout with the cops. Or or am I the cop and these are the bandits? I'm not really sure. Oh, God, they're loose. Oh, look at that. He picked up a, uh, a sword. He actually picked up a sword. Is the bottom one have a sword by default? Or did he just pick that up on his own? I think he actually just picked that up. Yeah, yeah, he actually chose to pick up a sword. Oh, man, look at this. Uh, I'm going to switch to the good, good weapon. Ah. Uh. Oh, man. Ow. Uh, I forgot how tough they were if they get out of their uh, carts. Oh, man. Whew. Okay, let's see if I can snipe at them some more. Uh, and this is why I didn't want the natural spawns uh, messing up the place. Uh, damn him. I love these monster stacks. They're so much fun to fight. It feels like a mini boss of some kind. Just like a... Uh, uh, back. Oh, God. Oh, I hit with my own arrow. The disgrace. The shame. Oh, shame. Oh, shameful display. My lord. I you that's a drinking from the battlefield. A shameful display. Uh, that was uh, Shogun 2 Total War, in case anybody was wondering. Dang it. You stupid skeletons. Get out of here. I'm tired of dealing with you guys. Mm, I've got to get up there and stop the... Maybe I should just, maybe I should just blow it up with TNT. I don't know. Uh, i gotta, I got to get back up there and block it off and let the cards bounce back down for now. Uh, either that or I could send... Oh, no, no. I couldn't use Activator Rail. There we go. Okay. All right, let me get back up there. Hang it. 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 Doop, 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 doop. There we go. And actually, if I put one... Right. There we go. That stopped for now. I can take this down. Cool. Okay. Uh, now they will come down here, and get out of here. I gotta get these things out of here. Um, there we go. And I guess, maybe I, maybe I actually don't need to farm them now, because I have so much of the, the, uh, the drops already. Um, but, I wanted to farm them anyway, just, just for entertainment. Uh, I need a chest, so I'm gonna have to take this, and do, like, this to break it. Give me the chest, thank you. And, now the chest will stack. All the chests that dropped. Now I can have a bunch of stacking chests here. Um, I guess for now I'll just do something like this. There we go. That's plenty, I hope. And I'll just dump all the, the stuff in here. Um, yeah, let's keep the torches over here, and that way I can just quickly dump everything that's in this little box. Uh, and I'm also getting a lot of the skeleton's armor, too, so that's cool. Uh, it's going to be mostly broken stuff. Not too not too great. Um, uh, but hey, it's, it's basically unlimited chainmail armor, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. So I'll, uh, I'll clean all this up, and be right back. Okay, uh, now that that is done with, you guys want to see what I got? Boom. 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 And then <laughs> some bones in there. Uh, this right here is actually what I really was after, though, the hoppers. Uh, because there's no water in the map until, well, much, much later in the map, you can make grinders out of hoppers, uh, dry grinders, using not using water. And this is going to be a rail grinder to grind the carts, and I will make it like so. Um, we're going to need... Let me think here. Do you want to watch me building this, or should I just cut till it's completely done? No, dang it. I'm thinking maybe I ought to just cut until it's done. No, dang it. Um, <laughs> uh, I was really looking forward to building this, too. Uh, I'm going to make several grinders in this map, and I was just... Uh, because I, I kind of actually like making grinders. Okay, go that way. Yes. Well, that's going to be kind of a pain in the butt, because that means I'm going to have to make it... Jeez, uh, at this point, at this rate, maybe I should have just made it go uh, the other way. But I've already started on this course of action, so... Boop. And a boop. And... Dunk. And then I think I can just make these go this way. No, yeah, like this. And then feed this way. And have a block here. And then like this. Like this. And then, nope, that way. So they all come this way, and they end up feeding into uh, that one. And then this one feeds uh, going downwards, like that. And then this is um, drum roll, please. I have no idea if this is going to work, by the way. I'm just letting you guys know. Uh, I don't even know if that's going to work, but whatever. Uh, that feeds all into there, and then we have... We're going to actually, you know, now that I, in hindsight, I think we're going to need more powered rail. In fact, 
Well, no. They're going to come in and land on this, like, strip right here, so it needs to be probably like this. And then maybe, like, one here, just to keep it going and make sure it goes. And then we need to power these rails uh, with redstone torches, which I believe are in here. No? I, put the, I must have put the redstone torches in the bottom chest, because it's the first thing I got. Right? Right? Yes? There they are. Oh, oh, uh, I fell from top down, that's right. Oh, give me my golden apples back. And also my TNT, please. Thank you. Oh, and an anvil. It's always handy to have an anvil with you on this map. Um, okay. Does that power the dispenser? The hopper? I think it actually does. Um. Hold up a sec. That's gonna turn it off. So actually, I need to power the block from above. Uh, no. Uh, um. Yes. That's how. That's how we do things. Okay. And like that. And then, uh, do I have a bunch of blocks in here? Hmm. I don't think I have any blocks in here. Not really, no. Dang. Well, uh, how about we cannibalize the back of this structure here? Okay, so that's uh, just over a stack of blocks. Um, and now, I need to make sure that these things fall, um, like, straight down. So let's get up there. And they're going to hit this. And then they need to come down. Actually, like this. And they need to come... They need to not uh, go off to the side at all. So they need to be like this. Uh, yeah, like this. And then I can light this up. Meh. Um, I can come back down. And then replace the blocks. And then make sure they don't have too much forward momentum coming down. So they run into that. They can't go to either side. And they should just fall straight down. And then, oh, derp, 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 I derp that up. Uh, and then, I need to put the torch back, like that, and if they fall straight down here, then we need to have, uh, this, basically, and that'll make, that'll, that will ensure that, oh, hold on a sec. And I need to leave that right there, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I think I got it. Meh. And this needs to be powered, which means... Which means... Uh, oh, I know. I've got redstone dust, and that means I've got steaks. And steaks need more torches. And that's that. Okay, do you guys see what uh, I'm doing here? I think most people ought to be able to figure out what I'm going for here. That, I'm, no, just, uh, yeah, right here. Oh, and this would actually power the... Oh, no, never mind. No, it doesn't. Okay. All right, there we go. I think I've got that all set up. Um, maybe I'll come back and put glass around it. Uh, at this point, I need a, a disposal track. Ooh, that would be really cool. Yeah. Oh, let's do that. Okay. And then this will dispose of the carts after they have been drained of resources. And that goes... There's nothing going to shoot at me, right? And that just goes... Yeah. Perfect. Perfect disposal track. And then to activate the disposal track, I need a switcher here, but only powering the rail, not the... Uh, I cannot power the hopper. I have to make sure that it's up higher. Maybe a switch of some kind. Um, for now, I'll do a pressure plate that I can stand on. Yeah, that makes sense. A pressure plate that I can stand on. And... Uh, just stand on this, and it goes to the track... And it needs to be inverted. Um. Yeah, it needs to be inverted. There we go. And I'm pretty sure I can just do that. And Okay, and that'll send all the carts flying off, careening off into the great unknown of the lava. And to make sure they don't lose their momentum, uh, let's just make this, let's just send them zooming off. Boom. Um, okay, I think it's ready to test. Uh, and of course, there's no, <laughs> there's no, uh, safety things. There's nothing to keep this safe. So, I guess for now, let's build a wall so I can stand here and not let the skeletons uh, obliterate me with their bows. Uh, that'll work. And now we can go unplug that thing right there. And hope that the thing is not totally stopped up by my interference at this point. Um, 
So I think the easiest thing to do would be to make a reusable staircase that can get me up there. Recent scientific studies indicate that vetuses are very... Oh my lord, look at that mess. We'll have to do something about that. Uh, probably something involving archery, if I had to guess. Okay, we're up here, and we need to blow this up. And just bonk those out of the way. And then replace this. Alright, there we go, cart's fixed. And they should slowly start bonking their way back up here. Oh, oh dang it, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, let's move out of the way, and let's move over here, so we don't get in the way. There we go. A little landing pad over here. Let's sit and watch. Uh, I need to get rid of that mess. Uh, yeah, come on, unstop. Okay. Yeah, the track is clogged up with carts, so I'll have to uh, break them to get them, there we go, to get them flowing again. It, in hindsight, maybe it, it would be a better idea to move, uh, create this thing closer to the, uh, the actual source. But, you know, whatever. Oh, here comes the first batch. Yes, 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 my bats, it works. Okay, and, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, the, the, all the items are getting sucked out of the loot carts by the hoppers. <laughs> happy bitches is happy. It works, it works, it works, it works, it works. Um, but the arrows make it a little on the slow side, but I feel that it's still awesome. Yes, I think it's awesome. Uh, uh maybe, you know what? You know what? Um, I think if I had them feeding into different... Huh. Right. Uh, if I had different output points. Oh, does that work? Does that absorb? Oh, it does. Oh, it does. Okay. Uh, if I had different output points for these things. Let me try some stuff down here. And I'm going to have to put blocks here to make them face this way. Okay. Boop, boop. I guess I'll fill that in. I don't know really why I need to, but I kind of want to make it look neat. Okay, and I can break these. Now, I think it's a good idea to show this off. Um, because you'll probably see more loot carts in future maps of varying qu uh, types of quality and contents. But what will remain true is that you will probably want to farm them. And I love making grinders, and this is a new type of grinder that I don't, I don't think anyone's ever been able to make one of these yet, just because respawning loot carts are a new thing, and nobody's been in a map where they would need to make a grinder mm, like this. So, yeah, if you want a project, go update the wiki with, uh, the Minecraft wiki with something like this. This is a, uh, if you want to take a screen grab of how this thing looks, it's, but, yeah, uh, this is a project I've been wanting to do, and making the loot cart was, um, okay. I'll just put all the building materials in here, and yeah, we have plenty of those. Uh, let me give me back my anvil for now. There we go. I'll keep a thing of poison on me. Who knows when it might be useful. And, damn it, I need... I still need a chest of some kind. I, I used all the, the... Oh, wait a minute. I am so derpy. I am so derpy. I have a... Come here. Boop. I'm gonna boop one of you. What happened to it? Did, did it just... Did it get sucked into the hoppers? It did, didn't it? Um, where did it go? It was right here. And the hoppers, they've emptied into the thing here. Uh, I, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go get one of these chests because I have, like, automated pickup now. And I should have just made these over here. But it doesn't matter. There we go. And I'm really anticipating a ton of loot out of here. So maybe I should, uh... Well, no, that's not going to work. What kind of ch stupid chest is that? <laughs> uh, what about, um... Oh, dang it. I hate the way hoppers have to be placed. They have to be like... There we go. There we go. Another layer of uh, storage there. There we go. You guys think that's enough? Is that enough? Look at it just populate. Uh, cool. Okay. And I didn't get to ch t test that, but... Uh, you know, I could test it with uh, carts, right? Yeah, let's just test this and make sure um, my disposal device works. Yes! Okay. Uh, uh, boop! Whoosh! And there it goes into the great beyond. 
Oh, I love this. I love this so much. <laughs> it works. It works. My machine works. Um, that's always such a good feeling. Uh, it looks so simple, too, doesn't it? It's just a cart farm. Where the heck are the other carts? I, oh, dang them. Dang, dang, dang. Yeah, I'll have to uh, I'll have to go down there. I might do that off camera if it's just me down there just shooting all the carts off because that could take a while. Uh, although, man, I'm sitting here expecting the... Uh, I've gotten really good at, at shooting bows, I think. Um, uh, da, da, da. That looks like it's hitting. It's setting things on fire. Maybe the carts are stacked together. Yeah, the carts are disappearing, and it's clearing off the line. Uh, I don't know. It sometimes looks like the carts are taking hits, and then sometimes it, they just stay there. I'm not sure what's up with that. And maybe I should use something other than a flame bow. I don't know. Like, it looks like I'm nailing the cart, and it seems to be like it's caught on fire. Uh, but it's not actually doing anything. And I actually just ran, managed to run out of arrows. I'm so used to having an infinity bow. Anyway, uh, let's go get the orange wool now. And just get that. And then I think we'll be done with this place. Uh, this is a very... Mm, this is a very miney... Feels like a mine. You definitely feel like you're in a mine when you're in this place. There's mine carts everywhere. And this is, this is a uh, playground style area. I just wanted the player to have fun in. Uh, that actually holds true with most of Inferno Mines. The whole map is just kind of like a playground map. Um... I'm not trying to just, you know, mercilessly kill you. I'm just like, here's a bunch of cool stuff. Have fun. Uh, Spellbound Caves was kind of like that, too. Just because I wanted the player to have fun with the new enchanting system. Because the vanilla Minecraft at the time, it was like, level, it took 50 levels for the max level enchantment. And it was so grindy. And I didn't, I don't know. And I just wanted the player to, in with Spellbound Caves, I was just like, here, here's all the things that you would do in Minecraft if you had the time to grind. But, you know, here's, here's some dungeons. Here's all the cool enchanting stuff. Go at it. Uh, okay. So, I need to go... There's two ways you can go. You can go that way, or you can go that way. And if you went down the side tunnel, you'd come out over there. Um, I'll just go this way. And I actually... Oh, I think the... There's a secret over here, and I'll show you guys that secret. Uh, did I forget to... Hold on a sec. Forgot to get arrows. Or as Joe Hill says, arrows. Um, so, most of this is going to be me assaulting dungeons and fighting. Uh, however... Uh, I will stop to build grinders in a few spots. This was one of them, and I hope you enjoyed watching me make that. I had a lot of fun making it. I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to make that for a while now. I'm saying it weird. Is that enough arrows? I think that's enough arrows. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, do I need any... Oh, hey, I ought to put... Um... I ought to remember to take some of these unbreaking books with me. Yeah, I'll take a fortune, and I don't really need looting. And Feather Falling is already on here. There's another unbreaking book. Now I'll take. I'll just remember to grab some of those. All right. Now let's go get the arch wool. It's over here. And hopefully this episode is smoother than the first two episodes. One and two were recorded at 30 FPS native, and then rendered in 29.97, which is NTSC format. This I'm recording in 29.97, and then rendering it in 29.97. So hopefully that will make a difference, and it will look better. I did not realize that I still had fraps set at a natural 30. Uh, and you would think, you know, oh, what's the difference between 30 and 29.97? That sounds like nothing. But, well, it actually is, because it means that frames are going to get left out, and there could be uh, desynchronizations between the audio and video. Uh, there's the blaze spawner. Uh, do I need blaze rods right now? I don't think I do. Anyway, it's okay, I'm up pretty easy. Uh, I'll leave the spawner up in case I want to come back and farm it, but it's by the lava lake. I figured there'd be a... If you're going to find blazes somewhere, it'd be next to a pond of lava. And this also serves as the disposal area for the carts. Uh, if you don't interfere with them, they'll all get bumped into here and be disposed of so they don't lag your game. Uh, if you do interfere with them, like I, I just did, uh, then you risk letting them pile up. Although that can happen with any kind of spawner. Uh, it's just the minecart one is uh, more likely because it's uh, the carts themselves won't actually despawn. And I get this firing line of skeletons here. Did I remember TNT carts? No. Oh well. It's good that uh, it's good then that there are some TNT carts up, up ahead. Um... Let's go this way. Do, 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 do. There's a bunch of loot. Let's see if I need any other real fast. I do need food. Food would be nice. I will always take uh, some solid blast resistant blocks. There's a nice spare of those. I do not need this, this, or this, or this. I will take the gunpowder. Um, and this is what I really want right here. And I'll reassemble that. Oh, I've got TNT on me. I can, I can just use normal mine carts and make TNT carts as much as I want. Oh, uh, that's nice. Okay. Now, the reason I want the TNT carts is that up here is a little trick area. You can send the TNT cart in, and it'll blow up some spawners for you. And it's kind of helpful. And I actually... What the... A record? Oh, okay. Cool. Um, I don't have a jukebox yet, but that's the thought that counts. What kind of... Which, which one is this? Uh, Mellow High. That's a good one. I think my favorite might be Stall. I'm not sure. Uh, coming in here. This little column. Yeah, I added these as decorations, and I added... I came back in later and uh, added uh, spider webs and stuff just to further mark off that, hey, you're coming up on some spider spawners. Look at all these webs. 
be prepared so that you can get your teeth and your teeth and your ambition bared. Be, be prepared. Okay, so here are some cave spider spawners. You can tell because yeah, there's one right there. Uh, there's spider webs all over the place just to give the player a visual cue that, hey, spiders ahead. Watch out. Um, now, if you notice right there, if you make your spot check, Super Hostile is all about making your spot checks and knowing about Minecraft mechanics. Uh, you'll notice a, a powered activator rail right there. And so that will light TNT up. A lot of players don't notice that. Um, it's a new mechanic, so they probably don't know how to look for it yet. But it's important to always try to notice little things like that. So there's your activator rail. Um, now this spawner right here is not going to get blown up by the thing, so I'm just going to take that out with my normal pick. Now there's a spawner cluster up ahead. Yeah, there it is. You see all the spawners stuck together in a clump? Uh, that can be kind of nasty if you get too close to it. But you can easily take it out with a TNT cart, which I'll do right now. And this is really simple. Anybody can do this. All you have to do is just align the track and put down your TNT cart. And this one is conveniently already powered for you, because I'm nice. The next one has another switch you'll have to throw to activate it. But you push that in, and there goes the TNT right into the spawner clump, and it blows up the spawners. Uh, now, TNT is unpredictable, so some might survive, but uh, some will die, and it will blow open the web and reveal the others, and you can come in and mop them up much easier than you would otherwise have been able to, had you just tried to take on the whole thing um, at once with no help. So that makes... You know, TNT, uh, seeing a TNT cart in there makes killing them a lot easier. And if one TNT cart doesn't do it, you'll notice that the track is preserved. You can just keep sending TNT carts in there until the whole thing's blown up. And there's, like, maybe one spawner left alive, and you can just come in and mop it up really, really easy. Okay. So that's handled. Let's proceed. Nom, nom, nom. Steak is good. Uh, webs. Spooky. Spooky webs. And some lava flowing down. Some pillars. We're in a mine. Under, quite possibly under the Sea of Flame. Who knows? Uh, experience bottles, always welcome. Arrow reloads, always welcome. And that's about it, I think. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes. Yeah, uh, starting to run a little low on torches. No, give me that back. Thank you. What's in this one? Uh, do you guys remember the stone tools and food, like low, medium, and high chests? Uh, these are basically kind of the replacements for them. I think these are more interesting than knowing exactly what you're going to get every single time. And there's also the off chance that any one of these could have had, you know, some really nice either enchanted stuff or some diamond stuff in it. Uh, you never know what you're going to find. Uh, it can happen in any of the chests, so... I don't know which ones it'll be in, because it's up to the random number generator, but it's just... I think it's cool to know that it's possible. It's like, when I see a stone to, uh, stone tools and food low chest, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to get some stone tools and food. When I see a random loot chest, it's like, there's probably going to be some food, there's probably going to be some blocks of some kind, maybe uh, weapons of various quality, and, you know, there's a chance that there could be some diamond gear, or there could be some very nice uh, high-level enchanted items. Uh, sharpness four swords, in particular, and highly enchanted bows. Um... Those are some really nice finds you can find in there if the program uh, will generate some for you. Uh, so here's the last, er uh, final area of um, Lower Mines. And I came back here and added tons of carts. It's like a cart junction. I think it looks pretty cool. And it's neat because it shows off how monsters interact with rails and carts. And I, I love, I just think when monsters get in carts and they can't move anymore, they just kind of sit there. They look so derpy. They're, they're really cute. Except for the skeleton because he can actually still shoot at me. Um, are you going to burn to death after one shot? Yes, this is a one-shot kill bow. Check that out. Uh, I actually, flame, it's flame too. That means the fire's gonna last longer, I think. Uh, okay, so let's come down this way. You can go either right or left. Uh, left is a little harder. It's dark, whereas right is lit up. So the player can see that and make their choice. Uh, left will take you into Happy Fun Time Witchland. But I'm gonna go right, which is also can also be Happy Fun Time Witchland. Just um, a little easier to deal with, because... Da -da -da -da. Puppy power. Nah. There's another activator rail right there. Oh, it's one of those guys, a thorn guard. Pretty sure it's a level one. Yeah, it's level one. You can tell because he's a skeleton, not a um he's a skeleton and he's not a wither skeleton. And wither skeletons are three blocks tall instead of two. They're black, and they are also immune to fire. So um Thorn Guards have thorns on their heads. Uh on that top level. Not the top level, the the helmet, that's what it's called, Vetches. Uh so you see now there's a witch. Uh witch is ow, damn it. I mean I cannot aim today. Uh, there's the slowness. Okay, next up is gonna be the poison. Hopefully I can keep you at a distance. Yeah, let me just keep bouncing you. You know it would be really helpful if I could actually land? How many misses did I have there? Man, okay. So I got some slowness on me. Uh, the witch battle AI goes a little something like this. If I am not close enough to the player to throw a splash potion at him, then I should maneuver close enough to do so. Once I am in range, I will attempt to throw a slowness potion if he does not have slowness on him. If slowness is on the player, then I should attempt to throw a poison potion at him. If poison and slowness are on the player, I should then proceed to throw a harming potion at the player. And that is their AI. If uh, 
that's your attack AI. Their defensive AI is, if I am hurt, I should drink a instant health potion. If I have been lit on fire, I should drink a fire resistance potion. And if you kill a witch while they're right in the middle of drinking one of those, they'll actually drop the potion. If you're highly skilled and can time your killing blow uh, when they have the potion in their hands as they go to drink it, you can farm them. I am not that skilled. My timing is not that good, but I've seen LPers... Uh, I don't think... Maybe they weren't doing it intentionally, but that's what I'd be trying for. I'd be trying to intentionally uh, get a potion off of them, especially fire resist. If you can manage to farm some fire resist off of them, it's, it's quite good. Um, I need this. Thank you. Okay. So up here, well, let's see here. There's the activator rail right there. I'm looking at it. And there's a spawner cluster over there. You can see the spawners. And right here is... Oh, no! Ah, shoot. I'm gonna go ahead and drink this. That'll offset the... Uh, that'll offset the poison a little bit. Uh, I gotta kill the witch first, who's in a cart. The thorn guard, he hurts. He's not as immediate of a threat as the witch. Cause he's, especially because he's only level 1. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so they're both dead. And I need to put a chest down. Is there a chest card anywhere? There was one back here. Um, I could have alternatively, instead of a region potion, I could have just enderpearl to counteract the slowness. And actually, you know what? I'm just going to, while I have that region potion going, which I will ditch that glass bottle. I don't need it now. Uh, let's go ahead and attempt to use a bomb cart again. There we go. And let's see if we can take out the spawners over there. So there's the activator rail right there. That's what we need to activate. And it's already set up right there. Right here we have an unpowered uh, unpowered rail. So we power that up, and now it won't stop us. That's that's the thing you have to switch here. Uh, last time you had to flip the direction. This time you have to power this rail, and that will let you push this off like this. And those spawners are dead. Boom. Okay, so now we don't have to worry about the spawners anymore. Uh, and I could have done that a lot faster if I didn't like try to sneak up to the spawners and try to talk. Uh, Oh, you stupid witch. Okay, there we go. She's dead. Go ahead and take out this one. Uh, when, you, when, a, when you're fighting witches, uh, the bow is your best friend. Um, actually, a lot of this... Uh, honestly, I prefer bow combat over sword. Um, bow is just really helpful in almost every situation. Unless I've just given a monster projectile protection just to give you an incentive to... Uh... Actually, wait, no. For most low-powered monsters... Uh, basically everything that's not a boss or an elite monster that's uh, of above average toughness, like a, a level 3 Z-Stigan, for example, uh, level 3 Thorn Guard, for example, uh, something like that, um, bows are really good. Now, once the monster starts putting on lots of health, the DPS output of bows begins to become inadequate because it takes so long to charge them up, and they're capped at sh uh, power 5. Uh, if you have a diamond sword with smite, or Bane of Arthropods, rank 5, and you can hit, 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 your DPS output to the enemy monster will be significantly higher, uh, especially with a specialized enchant like Smite. So against something like a level 3 Thornguard or a level 3 Zistigan, who are both undead, a Smite 5 sword will be uh, much better, assuming you're comfortable, you know, meleeing that enemy. Uh, it is more effective, it might not necessarily be easier, and in case I need these soul sand blocks, I guess I'll just leave them back here. Um, and also, this explosion uncovers the stone that was one block beneath. So, it's like a reward. Here's a bunch of stone in case you want to make uh, anything that would be made with stone. Uh, so, let's press onwards. And the Thorn Guard actually dropped some custom loot. And I don't think I picked it up. It's right here. Let me go through this real fast and just show off what he has. Uh, Boone. There's a Thorn Guard bow, level 1. Punch 1, flame 1, unbreaking 1. Uh, I don't need the sugar. There's his leather boots that are actually pretty good. Uh, they're okay, I guess. Eh, yeah. Um, meh. There's his uh, chain leather tunic. And there's his helmet right there. Uh... Thorn 10, you can't really, can't really pick that up, so I'm just gonna abandon it. Uh, and a lot of people want to put that on their head, and they can't. Sorry. Um, nah, I'm just go ahead and abandon that right now. I want what I want is this thing right here. I'm gonna drink that and boop that off. And there we go. Oh, speaking of booping, I need to go get the Cleophy and Crate Booper. Uh, it's somewhere around here, back there. I'll go get it after I get the orange wool. Okay, so this area is safe, and we can see uh, very well now. And I think I've actually been managing to collect the bread and the witch XP. Oh, I love this. You know, that's actually a good strategy for trapping a uh, zombie villager and trying to heal him. Um, so we can shoot down some of these enemies. Yeah, I managed to hit a cart. And there's the first, one of the first creeper spawners of the area. It's out in the open, so you can see it easy. Um, I don't have to kill it. Yeah, just spawned a creeper. I think they're vanilla spawners, which are not too terribly difficult. Uh, they have a slow spawn rate compared to some of my custom ones. Uh, and their spawn rate, it's not, not inherent, well, it is, it is slow. Average rate would be slow compared to the stuff I use. Uh, but it's between 200 and 800 ticks, and, uh, 20 ticks is a second. So it's between 10 and, uh, math seconds, uh, 
Five times five. Four hundred seconds between ten and four. Forty. Forty seconds. Is it forty seconds? Yeah, it's... Yeah, forty seconds. Ow! Between ten and forty seconds is, uh, are the vanilla spawners. I think. Unless I just derped up and, and couldn't do math on the fly. Um... So this area is defended by creepers, but I've got some blast protection on my helmet, which is very handy versus them. Uh, I've still got this multi-threat multi, multi -threat armor, fire projectile blast and feather falling. And the blocks here, one side effect of me changing the blocks here is that they actually have more blast resistance. And I think, although even, even though they do have more blast resistance, the, um, boop, I'll go read that after I get the wool. Even though they have more blast resistance, they, they actually, there was enough explosions there to actually blow up the spawners, I think. Will you blow up your own spawner there? I think you did. No, you didn't. You uncovered it more for me, which is nice. Uh, this sword is kind of okay. I'm just kind of using it to use it up. I don't really know why. Uh, now, the thing with the vanilla spawners being such a uh, random delay is that multiple ones can go off at different times, and they naturally stagger. Uh, so they'll... Uh, let's, get, let's go for this spawner here now. I think I can get that. And there's one under here. And actually, you exploding would reveal it. Uh, now, thankfully, you're pretty close. You have, uh, not close, um, far from the edge over here. So you're not, you're not gonna get blasted off. Oh, finally. I can start using, uh, this. The heck? Oh, it was the, it was the bug. The, the heck? You are good, but I, what the heck? See if I ever help you again, Fox. Okay, yeah, that was the bug where the, uh, ah, stupid creepers. Uh, this is, this is one of the parts where I, I keep trying to talk, and it's hard to talk and play at the same time. Uh, I need to just probably run in there and get that spawner with some torches on it and not let him blow up. Oh great, I'm under him. He's gonna drop right on my head. Yeah, there he goes. Okay, and I think I can go get this one. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, please. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, it's that bug where the item is dead but it, it doesn't show up as dead. It keeps trying to reappear and yeah. Alright, so we got some torches in there. Uh, blast protection was a very good idea to pick that up, I'm pretty sure. Now, I heard that creepers will actually, if they drop down, their fuse shortens. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But a few of these have felt like they blew up faster than I'm used to, so, I don't know. Okay, can I get in here yet? Can I get this one? Yeah, I did, okay, good. Uh, this wool, I think, is pretty easy. It's just some creeper spawners, and it's even easier now. There's actually lava under this floor. If the floor blows up too much, it'll reveal the lava. But, uh, because this, these blocks have a little higher blast resistance... Uh, did I get the gunpowder? Yeah, good. I actually should probably leave some of these creeper spawners alive and come back in here with a looting sword and just, uh, does that looting light? Yeah, it's got two. I could upgrade it. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Okay. A knockback sword would be quite handy here. Okay, I got him down. Uh, let's come in here. At this point, I think I'm, I might be in a good position to just walk up and take the wool. Uh, yeah. Mm, I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't want these slab blocks, though. On my bar, I want these closer so I can grab them easier. And I do need to replenish my steak. No, Bat! I didn't mean to hit you, buddy! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Bat. Yeah, there's that, uh, there's that lava. Alright, I'm just going to walk up and take the wool, I think. So I need to come up here. And that's what I was worried about. I was getting bumped off by the, uh, stupid blazes. Mm, and there's nothing behind me yet. Oh, they're going to keep hitting me. Okay. I'll just stay on the floor, and, uh... Oh, dang, my health got low. Well, the wool chest, the uh, wool room is open now. Dang it. I wish I had fire resist level 4 right now. I only have 2. And 2 shortens the duration of the burn, but obviously not as much as 4, and 4 would have been really nice to have. And there goes another bat. Uh, when I get access to more potions, I won't have to play so conservatively. Um, I guess that was my definition of conservative, huh? Uh, conservative play. Mm. Hmm. Protection would actually protect me better than the. I'm gonna switch these out because that'll give me better protection from fire because it, it's a multi-role enchantment. Uh, and do I want to put this on the sword or bow or whatever? No, get out of here. Um. Right. Okay. Now that our health is back, we can take a peek back in there. And all the blazes ever. So hopefully the fire won't burn me as long this time because uh, I've got the. I got the protection. And yeah, I think it's not lasting as long. Now that I've got the... Oh, I'm so awesome at platforming. There we go. Uh, boop. 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 Uh, I'm down here again. You know, this feels very familiar. I can't place my finger on it, but I, I think I've been through something like this before. Was it waking up? Boomer Castle? 
at the, uh, you know, let's just actually place some blocks so that I stop falling down like an idiot. How about that? Does that sound good? Does that sound like a good idea? And maybe address the creeper coming up behind me, because I know he's still down there. Sneaking around like a, well, a creeper. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe this time I won't fall down. And there was only one blaze left, of course. Okay, and now the wool's open again. And this is a little sloppier than I would have been had I not... I probably would have already gotten the wool and got out much easier, but... I'm trying to, you know, monologue and commentate, and that makes that makes things a little slightly harder. Uh, okay, I'll take you out. And once my path is clear, I'll, I'll run up and grab the wool and run out. Okay, I think we're good. Are we good? All right, yeah, let's get over there. And run in. And grab some wool. And run out. And there we go. Now, if I want to farm some witches, I could keep going around or take the other way back. Over here, we have... A Zista reference. Are you following me? You are, aren't you, you little stinker? You're so creepy. Okay. This seems like a good spot for a Zista house. I thought the view was pretty cool. And, yeah. Anything behind me? No. thought the view was pretty cool over here. You can see Wilhelm Cliffs, all the lava coming down. I think it looks really, really neat. Um, and this is what it looks like without a night vision potion on. Also pretty cool. Still paranoid about stuff going up behind me. But, yeah, I thought if you built a house here, it would have a really awesome view. Uh, I like how that turned out. I think that's a cool Vista. Anything behind me? No. And then there's a bunch of building supplies in here. I might come back for these later. I don't know. I don't think I need anything, really. Mm. I will take all the glowstone. Okay. In case I need it for something. Maybe the glass would have been a good idea, too. You know, I think I actually like glass better than uh, these stupid slabs. So, yeah, I'll take a stack of glass. All right, let's get out of here. So I got the wool. And I built the spawners. Uh, let me run over here real quick. Not that way. Let's go this way. And I am, yeah, I am really low on torches. But I just want to show where the uh, witch spawners are. Although, actually, this this way has uh, gotten a lot more natural spawns in it since I've been lighting up the area. And as you push back the darkness, the spawns in what darkness remains is going to get more concentrated. Um, but the witch spawners are back right there. Get out of here. And there's, there's just a few of them. It's nothing special, just some witch spawners, and that loops around. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, but there's nothing else in here of value. So I'm going to go get the... Let's see. What should I do now? Uh, I'm going to go get the Cleophian Crate Booper. And then I think we're done with the lower mines. Uh, there is a... Oh, the rates are over there too. So there's that. Um, doing pretty good with the jumping there. Hey, shovel dude. I'm just passing through. I need to go get the booper. And the booper is... Where is the booper? I think it's over here. Um, and so I think it's a waste of time to fight these monsters, especially when the spawn... the There's natural spawns here. They're not really that dense. So I think it's best to just kind of pass by them. Uh, although... We'll take that. Uh, there it is. I see. I see the light. There's a lighting queue over here. Um, yeah. You can see the glowstone here. There it is. Let me kill some of these guys so they don't bump me off while I'm trying to look at this thing. Boop. 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 Dead. Is that it? Anything else? Any? Well, since we're talking about Cleo here, zombie Cleo. Uh, any more for any more? That's what she, That's one thing she says. Any more for any more? Um, nah, it looks pretty good. I can look at this. Ah! <gasps> you! You swine. Swine status. Permanent swine status for you. And me, by the way. I'm permanent swine status with her. Uh, no, she, she, we're, we're cool. That, she, I'm not, uh, we, we like to pick on each other. Uh, we're friends. Just, like, just in case somebody was taking that seriously. This is the Cleophian Crate Booper. It is, uh, it is to boop crates. That's from our Half-Life uh, 2 LP, where she would boop all the crates. Um, boop all the crates. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see. Now, we have to get rid of some more items. Um, you know what? I've got, I'm good. We're good. We got plenty of things. And here's a funny fact that the half slabs, I believe, are registered as wood. And that means that uh, this works on them. Because these are half slabs. This is an axe. Half slabs are some sort of wood, according to Minecraft. So that works on them. Uh, but it partially works because it doesn't actually, they don't actually drop anything. It's weird. Uh, and, yeah. Now, to go with the crate booper would not be complete without some crates to boop. So if you follow the path down here. It's a little path. Kind of dangerous. Uh, you can boop all the crates. Uh, supply ladders, coal, 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 coal. Potions low, actually. Uh, and I thought you'd come down here where there's some space in your inventory. You can just quickly just, just and then take all the stuff and leave. Uh, my inventory is totally full right now. So I might have to uh, just take one of these instant health twos, actually, and then come back for more. And not take the, the suicide path back up, and we'll just go right through the floor here, because we can do that now. Um, yeah, we're awesome like that. Uh, and that's a load of natural monsters I do not feel like fighting. Ow! Right in the face. Alright, so I'm just gonna head out of here. 
Yeah, and you always gonna take that. I need to eat too. And it's creeper right behind me. It's a bad spot to eat. Uh, there's a, there's some spider spawners. I saw the flames. I have to take these guys out and probably use up the last of my lighting, uh, turning the spawners off like that. Um, I think we're good to head back on up. How crazy have these chest carts gotten? Have they gotten? Yeah, they're still kind of stuck, aren't they? Seems like that. Seems that way. Oh man, listen to that noise. All right, let's go back over here. And okay. And then it fell into my trap. Yeah, they're clogged up somewhere. I'll have to come back here. And I might quite possibly do it off camera. Because I don't think me just standing here in this well-lit area, just plinking, is going to be especially dangerous. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, let's get back. Because I think that's about it for this episode. Um, we got the wool, we got the booper, we got the grinder built, and I showed that off. Um, anything else to say about lower mines? Let me think. I really like the area in that it's very wide open, and you can see uh, lots of there's lots of vistas and gaping holes in the side of the area that look out into the ring of lava that surrounds the... the it's like a, a giant um, ovoid, to, oh, I'm so good at jumping, chasm uh, around the, uh, the... My unofficial name for it is the Grand Inferno. If, if the, the giant uh, ring of lava. It's like a giant lake of lava. It's a big ring shape around the map. and Or at least the, the upper mines and the lower mines area together. Um, it's like a, uh, a tor tor toroidal shape. Did I get that right? Toroidal shape of air. And tor toroidal? Toroidal. Yeah, I think that's it. And and we're in the middle of it right now. And then all around us is the ring of lava in, a, in that giant chasm. Okay, so let's get out of here. And, uh, yeah, I like all the... You can look out and see in all the areas. And a lot of areas around the map, you'll look back. And you can see uh, the... Hi, guys. I'll see you guys next episode. How about that? Um, you can look out and see. See that. And I think it's cool. So I think that's it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we'll do Everforge. And we'll probably... But I'll start off by going down there. And checking that area out from below. And show off probably the Wraith spawner that's down there. But right now, we have to drop off... Oh boy. Um, don't need one of you. There we go. So, I can drop off some of this stuff. And do I have the... Uh, yeah, there's some bottles of enchanting here. Did I earn enough to repair this? I think I did, didn't I? And of course, I left the... Oh, here's one. Ah, uh, 37. I do want a fully repaired version of that. So, uh, don't I have some... Witch experience here? Yeah, let's see some of this. Uh, don't I have some more experience? Ah, oh, nice, okay. And this will be a... Boop. A perfect flame venom thing, unbreaking tin, sharpness two, stone sword. This thing is going to last forever. And uh, this will be my go-to, just i got to kill some natural spawns weapon. Uh, this right here I'm going to keep trying to power up. Although, I might be able to get a hold of a diamond sword at some point. Uh, we'll see. Uh, anyway. Uh, and I also need to make a good bow. So I need to keep an eye out for uh, upgrades to my items. And I'll need to make some more torches too, but I can do all that off camera. You don't want to watch me sit around making torches. And I'm oh, working powder. Good. And that's it. All right, that's it. Orange wool. Got. And yeah. Yeah, I've set out to do... Uh, I've done all I set out to do this episode. I think that's it. So next episode, Everforge. Thank you guys very much for watching. And until next time, take it easy.